zero to B. Learning better is better. And welcome geeks, welcome back to our training on ScreenFlow 4. Today we're going to talk a tip, a really cool tip. Um, ScreenFlow 4 introduces something that's called nested clips, which basically enables us to merge multiple elements into a single nested clip. Let's see what does that actually mean. In our, in our site, we kind of like evolve our intros a lot, but we really want to keep our intros as consistent as we can. So for example, our latest one was this intro. And really what we want to do is we want to grab our intro and really kind of protect it from us making small mistakes on it when we don't really want to make any mistakes on it. Now, the first thing that I want to make sure before I do anything is I want to make sure that the elements that I'm selecting, you know, let me minimize everything so it's going to be easier for us to see them all on the same screen. And literally, obviously, one of our problems is as we add more layers, it's more things to see at the same time on the main timeline. And that's the main reason why nested clips exist. Now, the idea of nested clips is really simple. First of all, I want to keep this always out because this is the thing that always updates with is the text, which um, is of on what we're is about what we're talking about in a specific course. So the the thing that I want to change really is I want to take basically all the things that are constant throughout our videos, which is our jingle, which is our logo, which is our our I uh, which are is our URL and which is our footer. Now I I would love to condense them all into one clip. By condensing them all into one clip, I'm going to be able to literally reduce things on my timeline, on my main timeline, so I don't have to see them all together. They still exist, only now they're going to be condensed together. Now, to do that is really easy. All I have to do is right-click and then select Nested Clip. As soon as I do that, you'll see that it will collapse all my elements, and notice how our previous element, which is there, has not been deleted, which is good because we didn't want it to be part of our Nested Clip. Our Nested Clip is also the same. It goes through the length of our clip. Now, one thing to note, and let me just get rid of the elements that are just not relevant anymore. You know, let me just throw them all the way out to the bottom and get rid of them. Beautiful. So we still have, you know, let me get rid of this one also because it's not needed. Excellent. So now we have less things to, to look at. So first of all, our nested clip, we can easily, whenever we want to modify it, we could double click into it. And now we're inside of the nested clip. And within the next nested clip, we could continue working on tweaking if we wanted and really just focus on those things in the nested clip. With that said, even when we're out of the nested clip, we could still see whatever's happening inside of the nested clip. Now a note to our users that are flash professional users or know how to use flash. These nested clips are timelines, but they're not timelines that are like of movie clips. These timelines are similar to the graphics timeline, which basically means that the timeline that you have inside of your nested clip is connected directly to the timeline in your external one. In other, in other words, if I extend our nested clip and I make it six minutes, I'm actually literally going inside and extending our, our clip or at least trying to. Now, if I didn't extend the clip and it didn't reach its destination, in this scenario, we're all the way in six minutes, you'll see that in moment six, there is nothing there anymore. And the reason is simple, is because we, our, our, our element is done right here. So as soon as we cross that, it's over. For us to be able to extend it, we would have to go inside of our clip and then select the elements that we want to extend. All right, so it's not a real, well, it's basically the same timeline, only it's basically running under the same timeline, only in a separate layering so you guys could work on it more easily and more efficiently. So that's something that's really important to note. All right, so I'm going to just bring it back to the way it was. Now, if we'll ever work on, which we will, work on future clips which are longer, we would have to extend it each time. Now, one way to solve that problem is we could then take this nested clip and then condense them and turn them into a group once we're done with everything. So basically, when we created all these elements and we got to then, we could take all this and turn that into one shape and just have that one shape take over and we could extend that one shape for as long as we want to and it could still be on the same timeline. So once we're done with the animations, we could take that over we won't do that now but that's simple enough to be able to configure it and we might do that in a future video if you guys want to just put a comment in and we'll definitely show you how to do that all right so that was nested clips only last thing that i wanted to talk about is uh, there's this new filtering system that are these apply filters that are now available to different videos which we could then we could actually add different video filters those video video filters not only are applicable to specific videos are also applicable to nested clips. You could treat them the same way as you would treat any other clip. And we're gonna look into video filtering in a future video. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you subscribe to us and it's time for a jingle. Please subscribe to us, we love you so much. Please.